Hi ladies, Michelle Shelley here, the chatty lady, and what I want to chat to you today about is dating. Yes, so this is just for single ladies. Dating for ladies 60 and over. The mature ladies, oh, 50 and over if you like. So mature ladies, ladies that haven't been dating for some time, they're thinking about getting back out there, and it might be really some time. It could be 20 years or even 30 years or more. That's a long time. And the landscape has changed. The dating landscape has changed. It's predominantly happening online. Unfortunately, we say we don't like going online. We don't like online dating. Not many people love it, but seems to be where the action is. And um, because we don't know where else to go, you know, that's a whole other video, online dating and um, why we're there, how, how we don't want to be there. and what we should do when we're there and how to navigate all that. That's a whole other video. So what I wanna uh, chat to you today about is the um, dating experts or the dating gurus. <laughs> I don't really like that word guru, but anyway, it's a bit of a trendy word. So the dating experts or the dating gurus, there's, there's a lot of those around. They're mostly guys. There are women as well, of course, but it's mostly guys and I've discovered them on Facebook predominantly and then I watch them on YouTube. I've watched a lot of videos and I've listened in and you know what? I've learned a lot. <laughs> They've been very helpful, really, really helpful at times. I love their question and answers. They answer some questions that I have and um, I found some of them extremely helpful. They're pretty smart and uh, they seem to keep you on the straight and narrow, you know, and that's a good thing when you're dating because your emotions can take over and you don't, you don't want that to happen. You don't want to leave with your emotions. You want to keep your head straight because it is a jungle out there. I say that and I believe that. It's a jungle out there. So you need to wise up, Janet Wise. You really need to wise up, Janet Wise, because I had to and um, I'm still learning, I'm still learning. I'm not actively dating right at the moment, but I have done quite a bit of dating, um, not a lot. I have long breaks in between, um, but these experts and these gurus have given me a lot of information and sometimes I'm stuck or confused and um, so I watch a, a YouTube video and sort of sets me straight if it's a topic that I'm interested in or something that I'm a bit uncertain about. Um, the first thing I want to mention is the Bible. This is the Bible, <laughs> in my opinion. Um, he's just not that into you. You'd have to be living under a rock if you haven't heard of this book because it's been around for some time now, but I still believe it's the dating Bible. There's been a lot of copycats. I don't think anyone's written anything any better. The information in there is pretty basic, it's pretty straightforward, and I just think, I call it the Bible. It's my Bible, so if you haven't got a copy of this book, or you did have a copy and you don't anymore, why don't you go to a secondhand bookstore, because there'd be a lot of these books around, um, and get yourself a Bible, <laughs> or he's just not that into you. That's a great book, it really is. I just, I don't think anyone's written any better as far as dating or being straightforward, you know, with dating. One thing that I got from this book that I found extremely helpful um, is to always remember that you are the rule, not the exception. That really helped me, it hit home. So now I accept that I am the rule and I am not the exception because when I start to make excuses or when I was dating and I'd start to make excuses for a guy and I'd think well maybe this maybe that you know I sort of give him, give him the benefit of the doubt because this could have happened or that could have happened or this could be the reason or I was really trying to you know sort of come up with excuses basically because guys will give you enough of those anyway so you don't need to add to them <laughs> but we do we do. Anyway, so then I remembered the Bible and the Bible, the book said, um, he's just not that into you, said, just remember or keep in mind or have the mindset that you are the rule, not the exception. Of course you can be the exception. Of course that can happen. And every woman at some time believes she is the exception. Oh no, this is not what that is this time. This is different this time. And that can happen. That can definitely happen. But until you know for certain, 
Just assume you are the rule. <laughs> okay, so another book that I read um, soon after I bought that book was this one. And this was kind of um, set me straight a little bit on being honest with myself. So be honest, you're not that into him either. <laughs> and that's true too. Because, um, you know, sometimes when he's just not that into you, you can take that a bit personal. If it's rejection, it can be hurtful. Um, but the truth is, or sometimes the truth is, you weren't that into him either. And I, I can admit that's happened to me. You know, sometimes it hasn't worked out with the guy or didn't follow up with the date or whatever, you know. And I had to admit, you know, I thought, huh, <laughs> feelings might get a little bit hurt, pride might get a bit hurt, ego gets in the way, self-esteem and all that. But I had to admit, look, I really wasn't that into him anyway. And the truth is, had he have really wanted me and pursued me and I kept dating him, I didn't really want that guy. I wasn't that into him anyway. So that book kept me honest. <laughs> that was like, oh, come on, be honest now. So that was helpful. So my gurus are my experts. Here's my handwritten list. I'm really sorry for this. I know that's so basic. That's very unprofessional of me, isn't it? But then I am not a professional, so I'm allowed to be unprofessional. I don't. My printer's not working at the moment, so um, I'm very unprofessional. <laughs> um, but I have dated. <laughs> I have dated, and I've watched a lot of these videos and these gurus and these experts. So here's my number one. Matthew or Matthew, I don't know how you say it. I'm going to call him Matt Hussey. I, I love this guy. I think we all love this guy. He's a honey, isn't he? He's got the cutest accent ever. He's got the cutest hair. He's a real honey. He's a, he's a looker and he's a charmer. I don't know why he's single. <laughs> I guess through choice. Um, but I think he's wonderful. I really think that he's such a smart guy. He's really smart and his videos are fantastic to watch and he's easy on the eye, so that helps. That always helps. Um, it keeps your attention there. <laughs> and he's witty. He's a very witty guy. So love his English accent. Love that English accent. I think we all do. So another guy here is um, Derek um, Jackson or Team Jackson. Um, I call him what's up what's up because <laughs> he says that all the time he says oh what's up what's up Tim Jackson here I love the way Americans say that I think it's so cute of course I'm not saying it how they say it I'm not saying it the correct way but I like it it's cute um it's cheeky it's very cheeky and um this guy Derek um he tells it like it is he's got the straight dope <laughs> he's really got the straight dope this guy i love the way he's so direct he doesn't pull any punches at all he doesn't let those guys off the hook either he, he's, he's pretty tough on the guys and i like that and because he's like that he helps the women keep their standards up he, he talks about that a great deal about how important is that women keep their standards up and i couldn't agree with him more you know we can easily allow guys to get away with you know behaving a little bit badly or quite badly we we are prone to do that as women you know we can be a little bit soft and um well Derek's holding the guys accountable for us and he help he helps us do the same thing and he reminds us that we've got to keep our standards up and I think that's a really positive message you know um, one of my people on this list is Dr. Phil, and Dr. Phil says that, that we teach people how to treat us. And Derek's there to remind us in the dating world, it works exactly the same way. We will teach a guy how to treat us. So you keep your standards up, and I love that message. So I like Derek. What's up? What's up, Derek? <laughs> um, so another guy here is Evan Katz. Is that Katz? I don't know how to say that. It, it's got a Z on the end there. It's Mark. Mark with a C, so he's got a very creative name, but Evan's quite good. I really like his videos. Um, he's a pretty smart guy too. His own personal story is interesting, and he shares that on YouTube. That's worth listening to. Um, he's done a lot of dating himself, actually. Evan, a lot more than I've ever done. 
So he knows a lot about women, that guy. I, I think he's very good. Steve Harvey, um, funny guy, very funny guy. Uh, he wrote that book, um, what was that? Act like, a, act like a lady and think like a man. That's it, act like a lady and think like a man. Not bad advice, actually. Not bad advice at all. Um, it was a little bit controversial, that book. Some people thought it was too conservative. Um, he's coming from a more conservative place. Um, you know, he talks about Christianity and God. Um, if that's your thing, well, that's helpful to you. It's not helpful at all to me because um, I'm agnostic. But um, I just take what I like and leave the rest. Uh, Steve Harvey... Um, He's he's direct in a comical way, and that's helpful. I think we learn sometimes better that way. If we keep it too heavy, the information you know can get a bit depressing. So I, I like his approach. I think it's a fun approach. I love his facial expressions when I watch him on TV and on YouTube. Um, I think he's a real character. So I think he's got some words of wisdom there. He's got some real pearls of wisdom. And Dr. Phil, like I said, don't discount Dr. Phil. I know he's more of a relationship expert, but he's got some really smart things to say about dating and about stay, staying safe. You know, he's a very practical guy, Dr. Phil. He, um, he, he talks about practical aspects to do with dating and for women keeping themselves safe. And uh, there's nobody that's more of a straight shooter, as we know, than Dr. Phil. That's what he's famous for. And he's got a few, um, you know, a few things to say about dating that are very helpful. I've been revisiting some of his videos lately and um, don't discount Dr. Phil. Patty Stanger. Okay. Now, Patty Stanger has that TV show about marrying a millionaire or finding a millionaire to marry or date or whatever they do with millionaires. I haven't watched much of the show, but, um, and Patty Stanger's a bit, you know, controversial herself. One thing I do like about Patty Stenger, and she's got very strict rules about dating. Her rules are strict. She's got rules for the guys and rules for the girls, and she's not budging on those, but that's Patty. That's who she is. Um, she's pretty black and white with that kind of thinking. Um, you don't have to be quite the same as Patty, but what I do like about her, again, once again, is She's got really high standards and she reminds us time and time again, particularly for the women, to keep our standards up very high, to keep them up where they should be and don't lower your standards. Don't put up with this stuff from some of these guys, you know, if they're behaving badly, either pull them into line or cut them loose, you know, so Patty's very good for that. I. I I really do appreciate the fact that Patty drives that home all the time, that women must keep their standards up and we must have standards. I, I'm sure we've figured them out by now. We should have. Um, and she reminds us of that. Now, a lot of these gurus also remind us of red flags. They teach us about red flags, how to be um, watch out for them, to be alert for them, what they are. Some of them are personal to us, those red flags. But most of the gurus, and particularly, you know, practical people like Dr. Phil, they will talk about red flags and ha how to spot them. And when you spot them, what you do about them, well, you get out, actually. You go. You, go. you don't hang around. Once you've seen them, you've seen them, and you don't really have to make excuses. And really, if you hang around, well... It might not be not might not be the best for you. It might end up pretty awful, actually, pretty nasty. And that's how some of us got into bad relationships in the first place. We ignored red flags, and red flags can be, you know, they can be boundaries that are crossed anywhere from, you know, mild to severe. You know, that <laughs> there's a sliding scale there of our boundaries, crossing our boundaries. And so we've all got to have boundaries. You must have boundaries. It, everywhere in life, but particularly when you're dating, you must have your boundaries. So um, when you see those red flags and and you see them early on and you mightn't see them the first date or two or three, of course you, you may not because everyone's on their best behavior, male and female, best behavior. But once you see the red flags and um, you try and ignore them, you shouldn't do that. You should really take note of those, particularly if they're, they're hitting your, you know, your your 
bright crimson zone, you're super red. <laughs> if they're hitting that area and, and you're getting a bit worried or a bit scared, thinking, oh, I might be getting myself into this something here because I'm looking at all the positive. Turn look at the positives. Trust me on this one. When it comes to dating, look at the positives, but once you start to see red flags, focus on those. You know, it's no use saying, oh, he's really fantastic with this, this, and this. But this over here, this is not good. I don't want this. I don't want this at all. But all this stuff over here is really good. Don't look at this. Don't look at the good stuff. Trust me on this one. You keep note of those red flags. And really, if there's something that you just, that they're crossing your boundaries too much, just just go. Just say goodbye and um, leave that one <laughs> and move on. So I just wanted, on something on a lighter note, I just wanted to mention a couple of TV shows um, that were also around dating. A lot of the episodes were based, one is exclusively based around dating and relationships, and we all know it. Sex in the City, how could we forget Sex in the City? I mean, just about every episode there um, teaches us something. It's something we've experienced or we're going to experience, unfortunately. I mean... Some of the some of the episodes are just gems, aren't they? And you know, some of the things some of the ladies said, like Samantha, well, <laughs> well, they taught us a lot. Those episodes taught us a lot. I've got the box set. They're a lot of fun. They're a fun way to learn about dating. They kind of take that heavy edge off it, and they're a fun way to learn. And you're going to identify with some of those episodes. So revisit that if you like. And of course, Seinfeld. <laughs> Seinfeld a lot of those episodes were about dating a lot of them were and um, oh Jerry oh my <laughs> how pedantic how fussy I would not have liked to have dated Jerry Seinfeld I've never met anyone quite like him thank thank goodness that's not a very nice thing to say he's hilarious but I don't think I'd want to date him and George whoa <laughs> uh, what a character they're all characters. Elaine, some of her dating experiences for females, I'm sure we can relate to some of her experiences. And, um, you know, the way that, that Elaine is just so upfront with the way she speaks, she doesn't come with an edit button, and I love it. I absolutely love it. And, um, yeah, some of the things she said about dating were just, you know, hit home. They really, really hit home. Things you've been thinking yourself or things you've said yourself, things you've wanted to say yourself. So um, anyway, ladies, that's what I wanted to chat to you today about was um, dating for women 60 and over or 50 and over, mature women, dating for mature women. And my list of relationship, I'm um, sorry, dating gurus, we haven't gotten to relationships yet. Um, I don't think I'll do a video on that one. But um, dating gurus, my list of those, and you know, those couple of books that I found, my Bible. He's just not that into you. You hang on to that. And like I said, you gotta wise up, Janet Wise. You've got to wise up because it's a jungle out there. So do a bit of reading and watch some of those YouTube videos. They might just save you. They might actually save you. So Thank you ladies for listening and um, watching this video and see you later and you be careful out there. Bye-bye <laughs> now.